Behold, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, feast your eyes upon me, for I, Richard the Magnificent. Your yeah, shit, mate. Yeah, as I was saying, feast your eyes upon me, for I, Richard the Magnificent, shall yeah. make inanimate objects dance and feel in front of your very eyes. We cannot go in there, because that is where the dragon lives. Ah, but I must, for it is my destiny. Ha! The end. At least somebody likes it. I think you're really good. I've seen you here yesterday as well. Is there something else about the show that you like? I'm Richard, by the way. Holly. I know this seems a little bit forward, but I'm going to feed the ducks today around five this afternoon. Do you fancy coming? Well, I'll, I'll tell you all about it. I'm always right. I know what's best for you. Yeah, I even met a girl we're meeting up late. What have I told you about meeting people? All I ever want to do is turn us against one another. No, it's not going to be like that this time. She's different. We're only going to feed the ducks. Don't tell me what it's not going to be like. They're all the same. Do you remember what happened with your last girlfriend? We did speak for months. And look where that got you! Look, trust me, it won't be like that. No, trust me! If you ever see her again, she'll stop us from talking. Then how will I help you then? You need me! What I need isn't this! Let's not pretend that you didn't mean what you Sorry, I didn't think you were coming. Yeah, sorry I'm a few minutes late. <laughs> so, do you have any other hobbies than puppeteering? No, you could say puppets are my life. Well, at least you're passionate about them. Yeah, you could say that. As you know, in my career I don't make an awfully large amount of money, so I can't really take it for a meal. But 
you want to come to mine and make some good beans on toast? Yeah, but I don't really like beans. <laughs> Could you just excuse me for a moment? She's here, isn't she? What did I tell you? Well, I'm talking to you now, aren't I? But this is just the beginning. I'm sorry, urgent call of nature. Oh, lovely. What's wrong? Don't you like meatballs? N no, no, I, I, I'm just thinking maybe that... It... Sorry, just excuse me again. Look, I know you're not happy about this, but Holly's here for tea, that's all. Oh, Holly is it now? Well, I, I guess, guess you'll be moving in next. No, well... Maybe in time, I don't know. We've only just met. I'm here for you. That's what you said the last time. You wouldn't be anywhere or anyone without me. Look, I've got to go. I'll be back in a while. Is there someone upstairs? I thought I heard you talking. No, no, I... I just talk to myself sometimes. Right. Uh, so what were you saying before? Oh no, it, it doesn't matter. The moment's gone. Is there something wrong? Do you regret asking me here? No, it, it's nothing like that. Just, um, could you excuse me for one more moment again? Look, I don't need you to tell me what to do anymore. I'm sick of you always telling me what to do. I know what to do on my own. You're fine on your own. Look at you. You're a mess without me. I told you this would happen. Richard? Who are you shouting at? Nobody. Don't worry. Don't let her in. Get her out of here. We can't keep her out all night. Or grow that far off light. 